guys. Now, this uh, website right here is called The Return of Kings. Now, in the last couple of videos, I was going to um, actually what I, I explained that uh, I'm going to go over a lot of the uh, old school red pill material that uh, a lot of newcomers are not familiar with. And uh, of course, uh, in a couple of videos, I, I was talking about uh, Phil Valentine, the Wounded, the Wounded Womb series he put, he put out back around the late 90s, early 2000s. I also gone over a little bit about Henry Macau, a little bit about uh, Tom Likas, and I touched on Shirazad Ali and people like that. And the last video I uploaded before this one was uh, was old Malachi York uh, audio lecture called Do Women Have Souls According to the Bible, which came out back in the early 2000s. And uh, what I'm doing is that, uh, you know, put a lot of newcomers out there. You know, they're, they're not aware. There was like a lot of uh, uh, material that was put out probably even back further. Actually, I was, I was doing some research. I mean, there, there was some stuff that came out like in the 70s that was touching on red pill talking points before it was called red pill but uh on this video i just i want to get the uh the newcomers familiar with uh this guy named rouge v in the uh his website that's now defunct but uh you can still find it. it's called the return of kings and uh no he's he stopped uh uploading articles on here back in 2018 and uh this website was like before red pill was like real big on youtube uh the return of kings was a very controversial i mean still up you can still find it just go on google and type in return of kings.com but uh it goes over uh, like a lot of red pill material that was uh very controversial was ahead, you know it's very ahead of his time and a lot of the old articles are still on here by Rouge V and by and by like a lot a lot of other people and uh actually uh Donovan Sharp he got his start writing for the Return of Kings and uh just go on his website and uh, all the old articles are still archived you can still find them and there's like a lot of very good material on here that you can still find you know going back 2018 17 you know like way back and uh, so if you want to get like a uh, like a firm foundation about, you know, early rip hip material, where it came from, you know, what, what they were talking about, just uh, go on here. And uh, one of my favorite articles by Rouge V that I that I put on, sometimes I uh, put a link to it on, on my blog is uh, Conservatives Are Losers, which is one of my fav favorite articles. That I was referenced because I, even though I'm more right leaning, uh, you know, I still have a lot, a lot of criticisms about the right. And uh, this uh, article right here is one of my favorites. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But uh, one thing about Rouge V, uh, they took down this YouTube channel. Um, the Amazon banned a lot of his books. You know, his uh, old books are very, very, very hard to find. And um, and I think uh, actually Bruce V technically he's not really part of the so-called Manosphere no more. Uh, actually, he became like an Orthodox Christian. You know, if you go on his on this uh, website RouseV.com, uh, he's not really part of that whole Red Pill Manosphere. He you know he's a straight up Christian now and everything. So technically, he's not really part of you know part of the Manosphere no more. You know, he converted to Christianity and stuff like that, but uh. But you can still you no, know, he still uh post uh, a lot of Christian material on his website, and I think I believe he's like an Orthodox Christian. I forgot what the, well, I forgot exactly what denomination he's a part of, but uh, but he's still around. But you know he's more dealing with Christianity now, and everything. So which you know which is good. You know you know you know people move on, people change. So. But uh, but if you, if you still want to find out what Rush V is up to, just go on his website and everything. And uh, and also I would like to say that 
when you go on Wikipedia, the other websites, you know, they talk trash about the Manosphere, saying that oh, they, you know, they're a hate group and they in sales. They they do, uh, you know, they're all about, you know, especially the Black Pill. You know, saying they all, you know, in uh, you know, things dealing with uh, you know, violence and stuff like that. That's not true. I mean, there's like a fringe uh sect within the black pill community that you know they do they do stuff like that you know just go on this a wikipedia page about manosphere just i'm not gonna read it out loud but they you know they try to talk trash like oh you know saying they you know violent stuff like that but i'm not gonna say it out loud because i want my video to get black but but you know you just uh but i just uh, you know for the newcomers you know saying don't fall for propaganda and everything and uh you know, a lot of stuff that black people say is kind of true, but I'm not, I, I do not consider myself black people, you know, and that's why I like uh, people like uh, Mr. Lacario and people like that, you know, saying they just like, you know, you just got to learn game, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, we know the data market is messed up, you know, of course, we know, we all know about her program and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I still date. You know, so I, I still deal with women, so I don't. I don't really consider myself. I don't. I don't. I don't consider myself MGTOW, even though I love MGTOW content because they they put out a lot of good information that you can use while you're dealing with women to know to know what you what to, to know what you, what to expect when you deal with females and women. You know what I'm saying? But uh, but I don't really get into the whole beef about you know Rip Hill MGTOW. I don't, I don't really understand it. I don't, I don't understand why the Rip Hill guys talk down on Big Towels, and I don't understand why Big Towels uh, call Rip Pill pick up all the simps. I don't understand it because I watch all content, and uh, what I do is I just take whatever I can use for my benefit. But uh, when you get a chance, uh, you know, if you want to uh, do some research about the origins of Red Pill, the early days, just uh, go on returntokings.com, read the articles on here. And uh, that's all I got to say for this video. And make sure you do your own research, come to your own conclusions. All right, peace.